Hello everybody and welcome back to the Traction Channel for another video. Now a few weeks ago I did a preview for the 2021 Jersey E-Rally, a fantastic event with the aim of raising money for a couple of local charities, the RNLI Jersey and the Teenage Cancer Trust Jersey Appeal. It kicked off last Friday morning and over on the Traction GG Twitch channel I was one of the first to stream my live attempt at the rally. Here's how I got on. I kind of feel like I'm going to be the pace setter here. I'm going to have to go out, set my runs. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe some of the fastest guys have already gone, but I think a lot of them will be saving themselves for Saturday or Sunday to give them a bit more time to practice and learn the stages and, and get up to speed. So 12 stages for this rally. It's going to be split into, I think, six different legs of two stages each. So there'll be services every couple of stages, which is good because if you damage your car, it'll give you a chance to repair it. Go. 60. Okay, we are underway for the Jersey E Rally 2021. Got those corners just about flat out. Break nice and late as well. That was better than the shakedown. You've got to be a bit careful on your throttle application as well because front wheel drive cars, they tend to understeer and pull the car wide, so you've really got to try and be a little bit cautious. Okay, good start. We're five seconds up on whoever's leading at the moment. And that is in class, I should mention. So that's just against the other F2 cars. I'm not comparing myself against R5s. 333.6. We're leading by 11 seconds after stage one. That's good. It's hard to know what I'm comparing myself to, but yeah, encouraging start. Okay, so we've only had four people do it so far. So the larger that gap is, basically the quicker I can go, irrelevant of the competition, the, the, basically the higher the benchmark's gonna be for everyone else, right? So that's my plan, is just to go out there and set as high a benchmark as I possibly can. Limit the wheel spin at the start. Far from flat out, straight into a square left. Slope Already misjudged that corner, understeered a little bit. Flat crest, bit of understeer again, two and a half seconds up, so that's okay. Square right at the bottom of the hill, getting the brakes. Using a bit of throttle, I don't know, oh, understeer. Ah, that's the worst mistake so far. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm blipping the throttle a little bit on downshifts just to try and keep the wheel spinning and get it slowed down in a stable way. This stage has been more scrappy than the first one, definitely. A bit early on the turn in, get the car sliding. This is a scary fast section. Okay, towards the jump. Now we're four and a half up, so you can see the gains we made there. 140 miles an hour over the jump. Oh, I've misjudged that a bit. That's the grass. To watch out for this right-hander. Oh, that was sketchy to say the least, but we made it. Flat over the finish line, another bump, three minutes and nine seconds. So, yeah, not quite as good a stage, but at the end of the day, I didn't have any contact. It was completely clean. I can't complain too much. It just wasn't the fastest, wasn't the best, unfortunately. Let's get this thing repaired. No damage to the engine, no damage to the exhaust. That's probably the cleanest I've ever had a car at the end of a leg on, a, on dirt rally. Titans narrow over dip, 50, crest. Oh, that's a tricky section through there. Okay, 1.1111111 up at this stage. Oh, that was scary. I hit the brakes way too early there. I thought the hairpin was coming up after the jump, so I panicked. <laughs> Had a big moment, but uh, yeah, I lost maybe a second there just by braking before the corner was even there. One right. Oh, nice, nice braking point there. Keep right of a long crest, slow 100. Already very near the end of the stage as well. Another hairpin left, gonna break nice and late. Flat crest, 150. No handbrake, perfect. Okay, last sector was really good. What's the time gonna be? Phil saying well done before we've even made the finish. 248.0, so we win the stage by five seconds. So we're just eking out that lead at the top. Good start, good position to be in. Obviously other people are having problems and yeah, I'm gonna continue trying to set the pace. If I can win every stage, I'll be really happy, but to do that I need to not make any major mistakes or get a puncture because all of a sudden your rally could be over. Okay, let's attack this first corner quite hard. Oh, there's the glare. Oh, hello Hinkelstein. I always want to say Hinkelstein, but I think it's Stein. I, uh, for some reason I just can't stop saying Stein. I'm not German. Yeah, this one I think I ran wide at as well. Oh, see the lock up there. Slow crest and two. to fight my way into the corner. And that's going to be a lot more time lost. Uh, that's maybe a second gone there, and I think that might have been the corner I mucked up at the first time as well. Okay, 
can connect to this one again. Ooh, uh, everything's fine. I think it was a 33 last time, and I think I've done a 33-9. I think that's very similar to the first run, to be honest. Good start to the stage, dodgy middle, a solid enough end. Look at the way I locked up the wheels. That was when I was talking about it. Look at that. On the brakes, too late. Locked up, understeer, off we go. There's a second and a half, something like that. Sweet, my mechanics will love this. Absolutely no work whatsoever to do. You can see the game is just a bit darker, so the visibility is not going to be too bad for this one, but the next one it will be. Oh, there's another apex, although it was a bit tentative, I'd say. And I missed the apex that time. Oh, that's ske sketchy. Get the apex. This is where I had a big crash in the test run in the R5 when I did the video. 256.8. Ah, oh, more people have been uh, registering some times by the looks of it, because we've now got N555, Nat, and Ryan Swain. Opens. Right, I'm, I'm going full attack. I've decided right now. We're going for it this time. Not quite full, but a little bit more full than I was before. Okay, we're three and a half seconds up on the previous fastest, which is good. I need to listen to Phil here, because I don't know where I'm going at all. Open slow 30, crest into turn, square left up. Pushed a bit through there, that's quite good. 100 downhill. And Ooh, left. hello Hinkelsteins. We've gained a lot in that sector though. Okay, finish line, 6 minutes, 8 seconds. Okay, I won the stage by 10 seconds, so that's okay. This is where, like, these dark stages are, are where the rally will be won. And, but more importantly, where the rally will be lost. Because there'll be people that are right on the pace, get to this bit, and this is where it's going to go wrong, because you just can't see anything. Two. Now it's dark, last time was dusk, so visibility is less, which means I probably won't beat my time, but if I can kind of match it or get close, I'll be happy. Half a second up on our F2 rival. Oh, that's where front wheel drive. Nothing happened. <laughs> that, is, that is where front wheel drive really makes a difference. Just drag the car back around. I managed to get it stopped before I hit the Hinkelstein, but that's going to cost me three or four seconds. 36 seconds up at the second split, so no one's got through that first split unharmed. No trees! No, 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 no! Ah! Something doesn't feel right at the rear. Oh dear, that's bad. That is bad news. Because that's the same corner as I screwed up in the R5. Oh, that's a Hinkelstein and it's all over, guys. And now I've got a puncture and no spare. So this is very bad news. Indeed, because I'm going to spin easily now. Come on, let's get it to the end. There's nothing I can do. I can't turn back time. Mistake has been made. Pushing a bit too hard in a corner that I know is treacherous and now I'm going to have to drive the next stage on a rim. That is terrible. So this could be our lead in the class in Jeopardy. The back end is going to be completely all over the place and trying not to spin is going to be the hardest thing. So I might lose a minute here. Maybe two minutes. Look at that. Off the line. Oh well, this is going to be entertaining, but probably not for me. Gonna... Look at that. It's going to be a wrestle with this thing all the way to the end, but I am committed to the cause, so we're going to get there. Okay, this jump's going to be interesting. Uh, didn't want to turn sharply over that. 15 seconds off already. So we're looking at maybe 15 seconds per sector here. This is going to be two minutes lost. So the, the lead of the class is in major danger here. Whew. We're only three sectors through. I'm going to be 30 seconds down. 34 seconds down. No, Hinkelstein. Hinkelstein, Marshall. Uh, eight second penalty. Well, at least I didn't actually damage the car. That's the most important thing in that situation. Do you remember when I said before the previous stage that this sec section here through the night is where you would win the rally, but more importantly, where you will lose the rally? Perfect demonstration. Okay, cross the line. Oh, minute and 32. Not good, is it? Not good. Still quite a few stages to make it up. Some tips for you if you're playing this game. 
If you're going to go off the track, you're much better running over somebody than hitting the rocks. Look at it go. It's like a dog dragging itself along with its front paws. Oh, that was scary. I think we're just going to have to do not replacements, but standard repairs for these things. So we've got a long stage in the wet, followed by a short stage in the dry. So I'm going to go wet tires, wet setup, because I need that for the, for the long one. And we'll just cope with it in the, in the short stage, but I'm sure everyone's in the same boat. Should I take a spare? Nah. Nah. One. This isn't even rain, this 16. is like proper, full-on, torrential storm. Okay, I'm gonna listen to you, Phil. This is where the four-wheel drive cars will will gallop away from the F2s in terms of the overall times. Cannot see a thing. Oh. <laughs> wasn't scared there, wasn't scared at all. Oh, understeer in the wet. I really need to readjust my thinking. That was not a natural noise. Here comes the finish. 641, 641, 0. So yeah, 4.8 seconds, then we win the stage. So we're, yeah, I'm getting back, getting the confidence back, getting the rhythm. <laughs> that was my moment of panic. That, I think that was the one where I uh, got it properly locked up on the way in. So you can see the lights on, lights off, lights on trying to just get the traction in the right places so I'm letting the tires roll a bit again and then I'm gonna just nail keep it pretty much locked up at this point fully sent it in right just need to remember I'm on wet tires on a wet setup here oh and you can see instantly how little I've got underneath me I love it on the animation of the driver but he doesn't know whether to change gear or not he's just sitting there like unsure about it going between the wheel and the gear stick it just looks absolutely ridiculous. Slow fall, right of a crest bump into unseen ah. On the brakes. Keep it in. The the visuals in this game with the sunrise and the sunset and everything and night time, that was a pole. They're just absolutely gorgeous. Twenty over crest, turn square right. There's there's the animation I'm talking about, it's just ridiculous. He's like, yeah, this is fine. Last little section. Oh, that's scary. Okay, we did, we did win the stage by 13 seconds, but that was probably my second worst performance of the day. It's definitely something like, I, I learned this when I was doing the Virtual Scottish Rally Championship. I won one round at Spain, and it was because I was in the fight for the win, and I was so focused, you know, in every corner, I practiced, so it was like, every corner I knew my breaking point, every corner I knew when to get in the power. Again, no spares, none of that, just full commitment all the time. And I did find that, you know, once you get into these rallies, once you've done maybe five or six stages, you naturally do begin to get sloppy. Because it's like, you, you you know, if you don't make a mistake early on, you kind of tell yourself, oh, I'm fine, I'm not going to make any mistakes. And it's like a subconscious part of you just takes your foot off the pedal a bit and thinks, ah, oh, I could push a bit harder, I could do this a bit more. And you kind of forget all the little moments that you had where you almost went off or almost got big damage. You kind of just forget about them. And you're like, ah, oh, yeah, I can push a bit harder, it'll be fine. And then the, that same moment happens, but you're going five miles an hour faster and you do clip the rock and you do get the puncture, you do get sent into a tree. Right, let's let's try and get between 6.15 to 6.20. If I'm somewhere in between 6.15 and 6.20, I'm calling it a success. I'm gonna keep it flat through here. Watch the Hinkelsteins, there we go. Oh, very close to them on entry and exit. Yeah, okay, six seconds up, this is good. Got the apex. And then this is the one where I screwed up a few times. It's tighter than you think, that corner, but that was much better. <laughs> Up on two wheels. Keep it absolutely flat through here because it's dry this time. Oh, two wheels again. First jump. We're going to break a bit later than last time. No. Okay. That is the corner that I've been breaking too early for every time. Look at the difference there. That's another second gained. No, too much, too much. That's a second gone again. Is it still going to be under 620? <laughs> okay, we got our goal by um, four hundredths of a second. So I've still I've maintained my stage wins other than that one stage. But this is the final stage, so I am going to fully send it. We're, we're going for this. Three minutes six, and I'm assuming it's a Peugeot 306 as well. It was meant to be. Let's do this with the dry tires. I've double up shifted. Middle of a jump, 50. So much better. Okay, this is where we got to send it. This left hander. Let's just go for it here. Oh, 
keep right of a 50. Last sector of the event. Turn unseen square left. Oh, too much speed, too much speed. Got away with it. Four left to finish it. Commitment. Hinkelsteins. Rocks. <laughs> there we go. Three minutes, 0. 0.5. Across the line. Happy with that final stage. And we took another stage win in the class, although the last sector's red. Not surprised after that absolute mess towards the end. Oh, my door's gone as well. Or Phil's door is gone. What a shame. But anyway, there we go. So we are now leading the class by one, point, one, one minute and 55 seconds. Um, it should have been three minutes, three and a half minutes, something like that. But rally is all about what should have been, could have been, would have been, all that kind of stuff. Um, the fact of the matter is I made a mistake and my final time is not a minute and a half quicker than this. It is 52 minutes 19. So then, despite the major error on stage seven, I was pretty happy with my run. I ended the rally as the third highest place Seat out of the 19 finishers and was less than 80 seconds behind the quickest of those. In the F2 standings, I finished in a creditable 28th position out of the 103 starters, but more importantly, over £1,000 has been raised for these two fantastic charities, so the Jersey E-Rally has once again been a huge success. I just want to say a massive well done to all the class winners, and of course an equally massive thank you to all of those who supported the streams and donated to the cause. Hopefully Team Traction can come back and give it a go again next year, and if you want to keep up to date with all of our other exploits in the meantime, why don't you subscribe to the channel? That's it for me today, so as always, thanks for watching, keep it pinned, and have a great day.